Hey boos and welcome back to what's told by Ray. I'm your girl Ray and this is my YouTube channel, B. Please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Also, do not forget to turn on your post notifications so that you can be notified every single time I'm posting. You want to be notified so that you can be a part of the Ray fam, aka the latest fam in the YouTube land. And that is just on period, okay? Period, poo. Please do not forget to follow me on my social media. My Instagram and my Twitter will be linked down below in the description box for your convenience. Sis, while you're down there in the description box, do not forget to follow me on my Twitch as well as my Patreon. They are both linked down below in the description box. The Patreon is where I post all my unedited vampire diaries like this. So, yeah, go over there. Show the Patreon some love and, yeah, period. Um, yeah, and I think that's all for the intro. So, with that being said, let's get into the video, y'all. Period. Okay, y'all. So, we're doing Season 5, Episode 1. This is my second time recording this. The first time I recorded it all the way through. And then my fucking power went out. So, not a happy camper. But we about to, you know, do it again so that I can get y'all some episodes left. So, yeah. Period. Hey, Bonnie. How is the summer almost over? And yet, I feel like I got nothing done. <laughs> Sounds like you're having... Not gonna lie. This right here is even better the second time seeing it. Because it's just like... Think of how much us Damon and Elena lovers had to do to get to this point. To this here. And it just feels like... Feels like victory to me, honestly. Fun traveling with your mom. I still don't know how I'm supposed to do this whole college thing without you. And Caroline agrees. She spent the whole summer designing the color palette for our dorm room, while Tyler's been away helping some wolf pack in Tennessee. Don't worry, I already sent them your application, Tyler. All you have to do is register for classes and show up. Matt and Rebecca have been sending postcards. I think that they're in Amsterdam now. Or was it Prague? I can't keep track. And honestly, I'm not sure I really want to. Big Matt. I love this for Matt. I feel like as much as I really dis... I don't dislike Matt. As much as I don't really care for what, what storylines Matt gets, I feel like, you know, as the only human in this show, for real, he deserves this. I just hate that... I just hate that like him and Rebecca will never be because he's all he's all like anti fucking vampires and shit like that's so sad to me. Dear Elena, wait, don't start with dear. It's bad enough you're dead. Now you're a control freak. I'm just saying people don't say dear anymore. That's on. About. Hey Elena, what's up? My thing with this whole Bonnie being dead thing. It's like, how exactly does Sis plan to keep this up? Like, she does know that at some point, she has to tell them, right? That she's dead. Like, I'm just not understanding. Sorry, y'all. I'm just not understanding exactly, like, what what Bonnie thinks she's getting away with or doing here with this. She should have told them that she was dying, honestly, the last time she saw them in person. is when I would have said, hey, I traded my life for Jeremy's. I'm sorry, but I had to do it. The end. Like, it just, I don't know. It just feels stupid. And support me as I attempt to have a normal college experience. I'd rather play you with champagne and spend the night convincing you to stay. <laughs> y'all, y'all don't understand how much I love this man. It's really, it's a problem. It's a problem. He shows up in my dreams. Like, I see it's a problem. It's an issue. And I need help. Like, I need help. The Damon Lovers Anonymous Club, we need to unite and just have a talk because this is, it's out of hand. It's out of hand. <laughs> Fucking love this. Relationship them is so cute. <laughs> Girl. I mean, mmm. I kind of feel her feeling like there's something wrong because there really is something wrong with Stefan. However, when Elena and Stefan become involved or she start thinking about that man, something always goes left and it needs to be thought about. This is too much. 
He needs to be thought about, but not by Elena. Why isn't Damon thinking about him as his brother? Why I had to be her with the feeling? That's a fire transition. Is him knocking him into that thing, like, in the water and shit, is that essentially, like, drowning him for the rest of his life? Is Well, not the rest of his life, but for as long as he's there, this man is just constantly going through the emotions of being drowned. But it's a vampire, so he won't die, so it's just like, fuck. She's at home. Really stressed the drug thing. And I'd definitely say that the fire was an accident because there's crazy and then there's, well, me. <sighs> Or I could just not go back, considering my school already had a memorial. You know, something I never really thought about with Jeremy coming back is how was they just expecting him to just melt into, like, real life again? Like, they, they pretty much, like he said, the school had a memorial for him. Everybody thinks he's dead, and now he's just showing up. Like, don't they think people will think that that's weird as shit? Like, okay. All right. No, no, no. Okay. Okay, well, at least Whitmore is only a few hours away, so if there's anything you need, Jer, just call me. Hey, see you on laundry day. <sighs> I love him. So, how do you think this whole long distance... Y'all, how long before Jeremy becomes a vampire? Because I have a feeling that, you know, everybody in this show ends up a vampire except Matt. So I just, it would just be nice to know, like, what, <laughs> what happened? I love you. I love you. Oh. oh, so beautiful. You dream about Stefan? They're not dreams, it's more of a feeling. Maybe you should call him. So we can hear how happy you are with Damon? Absolutely not. I'll call you when he's ready. So I should just live with this nagging pit. But my thing is, if she were to call Stefan and just be like, hey, how you doing? What does that have to do with, like, her telling him about how happy she is with Damon? Like, I don't understand how the two correlate. Like, why can't he just be like, oh, she can just call. She would be able to just call and be like, hey, Stefan, like, I had a feeling something was wrong. Just wanted to call, check to make sure, blah, 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 blah. And Stefan could be like, well, he's actually in trouble. But if he wasn't, he could just be like, oh, no, I'm fine. Like, I understand, blah, blah, blah. You have feelings, this, that, and third, blah, 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 blah. And then they can move on. It don't even really have to be a conversation outside of how are you? I'm fine. Okay. Like, hello? I think they're they're looking too deeply into it. Besides, Steph and I left things in a good place. It doesn't mean he hasn't been thinking that you shacking up with his brother all summer long. Hello. I just think that is the last thing that they, that Stefan was thinking about. And his current, like, Carolyn is really irritating me. Like, and I see why she don't like Damon. You know, I just had a whole, like, discussion about what what is considered essay and blase blase. And in the real human world, what Damon did to, St to Caroline is essay. Yes, it is. However, don't think the writers intended for it to be looked at that way. I think it was just black and white, like he could tell her not to be afraid and that's it. I don't think they looked at it like, oh, this is what's considered consent and this is what's not. I don't think it was it was meant to be looked at like that. So I don't even think that Caroline's hatred for Damon comes from that whole part of it. I think it just comes from being compelled by him and being afraid of him. And like, you know, because she was afraid. I'm not going to cap like she wasn't. But like her hatred for him is valid yes but as elena who is her who being her, her best friend who is now dating him like uh, calm it down sis okay go before i change my mind and make you stay i'm going i'm going <laughs> i love you bye girls so this is a random thought but like vampires can compel all humans so does that mean say for example like if you had like a vampire babysitter right could they compel your little baby to stop crying does it work like that or do you have to be like because you know like I remember when I realized that I was a person at like five, you know, one day you're just walking around and then you just start to remember shit and that's how it becomes. So do you have to be someone who can like grasp that 
Or like, can you just be compelled? It doesn't matter the age. You could be a three month old get compelled to shh because you're crying too much. I don't know. That was a random thought, but I, I had to say it or else it was going to bother me. Sorry. Hi. Uh, who are you? Oh, I'm Megan. Your roommate. Bro. Caroline says get your... What are the chances that that is what happens? What happens when your dad finds out you've been dead all summer? How many postcards have I sent him? How many times has he called? I've done enough. He's clearly not missing me. What about Elena? I just saw her at college. She seemed genuinely happy. I am not taking that away from her. Okay, Bonnie, but how long do you think you're going to be able to keep this up? What about when you don't come home for holidays or birthdays or like special shit like that? Stuff that you would not miss. What what happens then? I just think this logic right here is so fucking stupid. We're lucky, Jer. How many people die and still get to talk to their best friends? How many best friends can't feel each other? Hmm. Come on, Big Jer with the T. Did Jeremy get to school okay? Yep. Showered, groomed, even cut the crusts off of his PB&J myself. So what you're saying is that me being here, you being there, this could actually work. Exactly. Listen, I got to uh, go. Before we get there, I want to talk about um, this whole roommate situation. Like, <clears throat> why they got to compel her to leave? Can't they just compel her to be like, hey, look, we're vampires and you're not going to tell anybody and we're going to drink our blood and we're not going to eat you. And that's just what it is. Da -da -da. Like, why would that be so difficult to do? I'm not understanding. I'm not understanding. Oh, and this child... This just looked like it's gonna be some bullshit with this. I have to work. I'm back in the real world now. I need a paycheck. Great, maybe you can replace those earrings that that street rat Nadia stole in Brock. Those earrings don't bring you back to life. How am I gonna explain to Jeremy that she stole his Gilbert ring? Tell him you have a threesome. He'll understand. Don't call. Don't write. And whatever you do, don't you dare miss me. Not gonna lie, they would have actually been a fire couple if, like, they took it there. But Matt is so incredibly human that it's just, it just won't work, bro. Oh, Lord. Are you appearing to me as Stefan? Well, yes and no. This is my true form. Stefan is my doppelganger. You confused. What are the chances that... Stefan is a doppelganger. Like, what, what, what? I know that because I can read. The writer's room got bored. Your thoughts. Unfortunately, I can see that you can't help me find what I'm looking for. So, all you need to remember, Liz, is that Stefan stopped by to say hello. Call your friend, Stefan. Let him know you're okay. Will do, Sheriff. Let's talk roommate ground rules. Privacy is very important to me. Same here. I have low blood sugar. My diet's finicky, so keep your paws off my stuff. We'll split up the shelves. And if I suddenly get up to leave or disappear for a while, don't follow me or look for me. Okay. Sounds good. <laughs> Great, then we agree on everything. Excuse me, ladies. Nadia, what more house tonight? He is fine. We'll be there. I hope so. Mmm. I love college. <laughs> Where is Tyler? Like, why haven't we... What is taking that man so long to just register for school? I don't understand. <clears throat> mm. Look who rose from the dead. Mm. Nice phone. Does it ever ring? Exactly. Exactly.
And this is why I call him Jeremy Bout That Action Gilbert. Jeremy Bout That Life Gilbert. Why do they ever think they can step to Jeremy? Jeremy Gilbert. The big one, never the little one. Chow, I love this man. I love this man. Then you got the people in the background talking about how he's crazy as if, as if these guys did not just walk up on him and start fucking with him. Like, he wasn't messing with nobody. See, I hate people. And deep down in that mushy, gushy, Alina-loving heart, there's a part of you that doesn't want me to die. What are you doing here, Catherine? Mm. Y'all. Y'all. You should... And I want y'all to hear me loud and clear when I freaking say this. If they ruin Damon and Elena with fucking feelings for Catherine, I'm going to lose my fucking mind. Because something about this interaction is giving me, they're going to try a love triangle. And I don't like it because, oh my God, uh, like, why give us Damon and Elena to fuck it up with fucking Catherine out of all people? Like, baby, I am already tired. I'm tired, okay? I'm weak and I'm slow. Do you have any idea what it's like to run in heels? I have blisters. Damon, please just, just help me. Girl. Why is she... Why she come to him of all fucking people, yo? Uh, it's about to piss me off. Just turn off that pesky humanity switch. Won't take the pain away. Yeah, but it'll turn off your misery, your fear, your hopelessness. And then what, huh? Let's just say that you actually notice that I'm gone. Let's say I get out of this. What good is it if I'm a monster again? How is that better than any of this? I mean, okay, I see where Stefan is coming from, and also I can see, like, Damon telling him to turn off his emotions, because on one hand, on Damon's end, it's like, if you turn off your emotions, you'll just, you won't feel any of what you're feeling. Yeah, it'll still be happening, but you won't feel it, you won't, like... You won't be putting yourself through agony feeling that shit. But then you have Stefan where it's like, okay, so you know what I'm like without my humanity on. I'm a whole fucking, you know, monster out this bitch. So what if you do come to save me one day and then I come out and now I don't have no emotions and it's just that. But my thing is, if they got Elena to put her emotions back on, why can't they just force Stefan into turning his back on like they did once before? Like, I just don't think that it's, I don't think that, I don't think that Stefan is thinking about it like, oh, they could just do to me what they did to Elena and we turn it back on and it just be that. And what the hell is protein water? You know what? Maybe if I drink it all, she'll want to move out. Caroline, no. Oh. <laughs> <coughs> What's going on? She knows. Are you okay? Yeah, she's uh that are her parents know. I wonder what vervain tastes like. Like if you put it in some shit like water, how how would somebody not be able to taste the difference between regular water and vervain water? Nice to meet you. Hi. Can you be nice to the guy? I'm with Tyler. Are you? Because he hasn't called. From the mountains of Appalachia? I'm just saying, I don't want you to get your hopes up thinking that he's coming when he hasn't really shown much interest. Did you tell Damon you were having dreams about Stefan? What does A got to do with B? Like, I don't understand what her telling Damon that got to do with you being in denial about your boyfriend. I don't, I don't get it. Why are you guys just standing there? We were just... Caroline? Waiting for someone. She's late. <laughs> so? Yeah. Right. Well, I'm gonna go hang. Okay. Like I said, she knows. 
One day. Hey, to see it. Hello, Damon. Seven. Welcome home. Thanks. Hey, Megan, it's Elena. I'm just calling to let you know. You know what's crazy? It's it's weird to me that watching the show, like of course I know it's Silas, Silas, but to me he doesn't even give the same energy that Stefan gives off. Like it looks like Stefan, yeah, of course, but I mean looking like I don't know, it just doesn't give the same Stefan energy if if you feel what I'm saying. Like that whole interaction with Damon was awkward as fuck. And it wouldn't have been awkward with Stefan because as much as him and Damon argue with shit, that's his man's low key. So it wouldn't have been that awkward. Megan, who's chasing you? Help me! Oh my god! We can't come inside. I don't know. The line's too long. If, if you come out, where are you? Please help me! Megan, can you hear me? Just get outside and we can help you. Oh my god! What are the fucking chances? was a vampire what are the fucking chances that they go to the college that got vampires like what the god you're slow this vamp speed came with the upgrade get out of my way and give me Catherine. first drop the stuff and look <laughs> what wonder what he wants with Catherine. what what good is Catherine to anybody do he got beef with Catherine? he can't Catherine is the one who set him free so i don't know Oh, Catherine is the one that took the cure. Maybe that's what it is. Hmm. So maybe it's like if he... I wonder if you were to drink Catherine's blood and she took the cure, would she now be a walking cure? Like, is that what that makes her? We're convinced it was a suicide, but we can't seem to find her cell phone. Have you seen it? No. If it turns up, let us know. Somebody's compelled, baby. Going Here's gone. Now, what do you want with Catherine? I could tell you, but wouldn't it be so much more fun if it were a surprise? Mm -hmm. You're not getting her. Damon, how well do you know your brother? Do you really think he would leave town for three months without so much as a phone call so he could live happily ever after with the love of his life? I mean, is that not what he said that he was going to do? Like, I was there when he said it, I think. He, he said something similar to that anyway, so like, I mean... Or did you just delude yourself into thinking it would be that easy? Girl, move on, move around. Turn around, bring him back. What? No! What are you doing, Jeremy? Stop! You can't take me back there, Jeremy. Damon wouldn't just hand me over. Silas clearly got in his head. Shut up, Catherine. My whole thing think, with think this is her being fucking human. Does she not know that some shit like that could kill her? Like, girl, you are not what you used to be before. You could die. Here you go, Mayor. This one's on the house. Thank you, man. So, uh, when's Barney coming back? You know, I, I'm not sure. But, um, if you talk to her, uh, tell her I said hi. Yeah. yeah. Thanks for the beer. You're welcome. Why is her father not concerned about why she's not, like, uh, like, I would be, I could be my, as a parent, I would be super fucking concerned about where my child is and why I don't know when she's coming back. Like, this is giving weird, all of this is weird, like, weird. No way. Now Matt is being stalked, like, what is going on? What the fuck? He didn't find that weird. He should have known that some shit was fucked up with that one right there. Like, girl, you try. I'm supposed to believe you travel all of the time, and all you want to do is give me back a ring. Yeah, okay. 
We'll see, bitch. We'll see. That's Megan. My dad. What is going on? If he dies again, so help me fucking God. I will run away. Supposed to be taking care of you, you little punk. Wake up. Or I'll kill you myself. Oh, Catherine. It's God. People who say Damon doesn't care about anybody but Elena and Stefan are fucking liars. Does that look like somebody who doesn't care? Child. Okay. Okay. I've put a lot of thought into this and decided to defer school for now. This werewolf pack I'm helping, they need me. I know it's lame to do this over the phone, but I figure this way it's hard for you to kill me. I'm really... Really sorry, Care. But this is important. While I do feel bad for Caroline, she had to have seen this coming. Like when he didn't show any interest in coming to school, when he actually didn't show up, like she didn't see any of this coming. Let's just drop Tyler and call it a day. So you lied? No, I withheld a bit of the truth so that Elena wouldn't drop everything and come running home to help. figure all this out i hope everyone enjoyed the you know we know damon as the idea guy <clears throat> you know but something tells me that him not telling elena was not a great idea and i don't know where this feeling comes from but god damn it i'm feeling now let's try this no one make a sound or move a muscle what the fuck good night i just want to say thank you guys for watching this video with me i really really do appreciate it please do not forget to like comment and subscribe like i was usually saying in the beginning turn on your post notifications follow me on that twitter follow me on that instagram follow me on twitch and go subscribe to the patreon and yeah with that being said i'll be seeing you guys in the next motherfucking video gang bye